Yo, still feels. What's the deal, man? Yo, peep game, man. We got to get into some shit, man. And that shit is motherfucking Al Heyman, bro. Like, um, it never ceases to amaze me or how, you know, one th man, it's the Obama effect when it comes to Al Heyman, bro. He can do the most wrong and commit the most criminal shit against his own people. And because he's black, we got to stay silent on it. We got to bite our tongue on it. We got to. Otherwise, we off cold and we racist and stuff. Man, I'm look. I'm on Facebook, man. It's like I, I, I always say this. As long as you are on Facebook, you will have something to speak about. You will have something to talk about. It's a dude who made a post saying that Al Heyman does just as good as work as Matchroom and, and 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 top rank. And I'm like, how? How do you come to this conclusion, bro? Look, peep game. Why the fuck are we just now getting David Benavidez versus Caleb Plant? Why are we just now getting that? Just now, when neither one of them are, neither one of them hold a belt. And Caleb Plant has already been starched. Why the fuck are we just now getting that fight? As opposed to two and three years ago when they were undefeated world champions and stable mates. How was that a good thing, man? How? How? And y'all are so far, y'all are so far gone with it. Y'all would just completely disregard the fact that y'all said Canelo was cherry picking when he went and he snatched that IBF uh, belt off of Caleb Plant, but then turn around and say it's a 50 50 fight for David Benavidez, all while also saying David Benavidez is the Mexican monster, the boogeyman of the division that will stop Canelo Alvarez and he's ducking him. How the fuck does that make sense? How are you in a 50 50 fight with a dude that Canelo already beat the shit out of? But you're going to beat Canelo Alvarez some way, shape, or form. That makes no fucking sense. That makes no sense. No sense whatsoever. And the fact that it's being put behind a paywall is wild. These are not household names. Caleb Plant is not a household name. Neither is David Benavidez. We, these niggas is being put behind a paywall. On, the, on top of a multitude of other shit that, yo, man, y'all had the nerve to put Chris uh, Chris Ariola versus Andy Ruiz behind the paywall. Y'all had the nerve to put Charles Martin versus Luis Ortiz behind the paywall. Andy Ruiz versus Luis Ortiz behind the paywall. Uh, Wilder versus Ortiz, two behind the paywall. Wilder versus Robert Helene is behind the paywall. Y'all have no shame over there. We just put, yo, man, pay-per-view. We gonna put it on. Keith Thurman versus Mario fucking Barrios on pay-per-view. That is gut-wrenchingly disgusting. That is, like, that shit is, that shit is, that shit is blowing me. All these fights are put behind paywalls at the helm of Al Heyman, bro. All of these fights you got to pay for. Why the fuck do I got to pay damn near $100 to watch any of them fights? Any of them fights. They don't even try to hide this shit. And them dumbass niggas will pay. Oh, I'm a boxing fan. I'm a boxing fan. I'm a boxing fan. I'm a boxing fan. If George Cambosos and uh, Teofimo Lopez were PBC fighters, that fight would have been on a pay-per-view. How is he doing better work? If Frank Martin and Rochelle, Michelle Rivera had just a slight bit more clout than what they have now, that shit would have been on pay-per-view. What are we talking about? What, what, what are we talking about? All the big, all the fights that we, we've got unification matches, we've got undisputed matches, all that shit without being put behind a paywall. And you think we're supposed to sit here and pay for a non-title match, a interim, a, a, a title eliminator match on pay-per-view. Like, yo, this shit is amazing. This dude runs game and, and, and media, you know, just, 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 just publicity stunts and media antics or whatever to throw somebody off of the scent of fight of, of the man in the fights that people are asking for. All this shit going on with Bud and Earl. That's game. That's like, bro. 
oversaturating the pay-per-view market completely milking fights to the point where it's like i'm not even interested in it no more you know how many people are like i don't care about spencing bud it's just it makes no sense it makes no sense why this dude is still being fucking put it he's not the second coming of christ let these niggas tell it al Heyman's face belongs on the walls the metal belongs on the in the pyramids in metal nature that's how deified this man has become. Al can't do no wrong. You can't say shit wrong about Al Hammond. If you do, you're a self-hating coon. I heard it. The, the, the fact that, that a nigga would sit there and say that, oh, self-hatred and racism. What is racist about calling out another black man for committing criminal acts? I don't know shit about the Ali Act, so I won't even speak on that shit. But he has kept his fighters away from career career high paydays Charles Martin got more money come on man move Charles Martin got more money <laughs> to fight Anthony Joshua for that belt than Deontay Wilder got for Luis Ortiz the fact that y'all held that man away uh, kept that man away from a hundred million dollar offer is that is insane to me. Adam Konaki, Luis Ortiz, all these fighters, y'all kept away from this nigga. Y'all kept him away. Tank and Tevin, you kept him away from a $7 million payday, bro. Guaranteed. No pay-per-view upside, no gate review, none of that shit. Guaranteed seven M's. Y'all kept him away from that. And if it's not an, if that isn't, a, if that isn't enough, y'all guy, y'all king, Deontay Wilder, his goddamn self came out and said, "I don't need to, I need my money now. As soon as I get, as soon as I step out the ring, I need that bag dropped off. Send me that bag, bro. I don't need it two weeks. We ain't even got to bring, we ain't ever got to interject Adrian Broner into the situation. Wilder out his own mouth. The same Wilder that y'all niggas is allegedly, he, that y'all niggas that more than likely came and flooded these uh, these boxing spaces on behalf of, that same Wilder said, yeah, I need my, I need that, bro. I need that show right now. I don't need to wait two weeks. I don't need that shit, man. Run me my, run me that. Run me my funds. The fuck is you talking about? It don't matter if these niggas is millionaires and they got money in the bank. That's besides the fact when you step into another tax bracket, your budget gets that much thicker. The shit that you didn't have access to getting that you would have wanted, now you got money. Cool. Yeah, I want that car. I want that house. I want to wear that type of clothing. I want to fly first class. I want to take me and my family over to Dubai, over to Africa, over to the UK, over to Ireland, to Asia. You have that at your, you have that you have that in your bank account now. And even if you don't need that money, you still want it because you worked for it and you earned it. That's grimy shit. You gonna sit here and hold out on niggas and shit like that. And y'all don't want to call him out because the call him out will be to go against God. To be it would be to go against the black community. Y'all niggas are some of the most incompetent ass niggas I've ever seen in my life. Dumbest shit in the world. I don't even care so much that he doesn't put himself on, you know, on, on internet. I ain't mad at that. Some people just don't like the spotlight. They don't want to be bum rushed, whatever, you know, when they, you know, paparazzi and fans running up to him begging for an autograph. You know, celebrities are human beings too. They don't want to be, they don't always want to be bothered. Who the fuck is this? I don't know who that is. The motherfuckers are just banging my line. But celebrities don't always want to be bothered. They're human beings too. They have emotions. They have irrationale. They have triggers. Leave me alone. I may be going through something in my personal life. I may be going through something in my personal life that I just, I don't, I don't, I, I, I can't. My mother just died. You know, I'm just irritated today. I'm real irritable, man. I would just really like to be left alone. So I'm not mad at him for not wanting to have his face splattered all over the internet. I get that shit, man. But look at his deeds. Look at what he's doing to his fighters in his stable. I can't speak on behalf of the Ali Act. I don't know nothing about that shit. But I do know them niggas tried to hang the, fi the fact that Earl Spence and Bud ain't fighting all over Bud's head. They told that man, if you don't fight, 
Yo, if you fight and if you fight David Avenish and we going elsewhere. After Ryan Garcia, no, and then after shortly after that, Ryan Garcia comes out and lets it be known that Al Heyman told him that if he can't fight in the tune-up. I don't know so much about that because you know, just he was like, I don't need a tune-up. I just I'm gonna go straight into the tank fight. It did seem like he wanted to do that shit of his own free admission. But um um, I, I just I don't know. I, it did seem like that, man. But you you know, even if you don't believe it, 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 it it's gonna cause you to rethink the situation because of how they just did blood. You ain't fought in over a year, you either finna go straight into a Spence fight or we going somewhere else. Never mind Spence got a fight in this year. Why can't I? And what's stopping him for why does it have to be Keith Thurman? I just just what's going on with this dude is just it's asinine and nobody no niggas don't want to call him out on it. They don't want to call him out on it. How do you withhold funds? How do you do that shit? The majority of the of the, the big time names on the PPC are black fighters. Why is Wilder talking about him getting his fun? I need my money now. That shouldn't even be a factor. Bro, you earned this shit. You could have died in the ring. Hold that. Take that. All the fights this man did stop from happening. How is he still being praised? As this savior of boxing, he's not. I promise you he's not. Niggas is not checking. Like, bro. Like, no. Call that man out on his bullshit. It's okay if you do. You ain't going against the grain if you do. You go against the grain if you allow the bullshit to happen. You go against the grain if you allow a Baynard Rustin. If you don't, you oh man, Baynard Rustin. You don't know, well, go Rustin. Man, he was an op. Karinga, these was ops. But they were heavily involved within black society. Y'all gonna let them niggas get the passes for the for the sake of them being black, being black? William O'Neill was black. What are we talking about? Hold these niggas' feet to the fire, man. Because when y'all don't, y'all allow fuckery to you know to you know to, to trans uh, 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 to trans you know to uh, transgress to happen. Y'all allow that shit to happen. Y'all allow that shit to bypass y'all. What Al Heyman is doing, he needs to be checked for. Immediately. Immediately. This man is not above reproach. Who the fuck is he? Who the fuck is Al Heyman? You can be a fan of somebody, but still hold criticisms of that individual. That does not make you a detractor. That does not make you a hater. That makes you an unbiased and logical thinking human being. You ain't going against no grain because you checking this nigga. Like, get off that nigga dick, bro. This, this shit is disgusting. I heard people say, like, they don't like him only because he's with Earl Spence. That ain't the case at all. That's not the case. It's his deeds and his practices. It's unfortunate that Earl Spence is being put in, you know, he's a part of the pony show. But that's not the sole reason why people ain't fucking with Al Heyman, man. So... Y'all niggas get your shit together. Stop being busters and, and, and bang on that nigga the same way y'all would want everybody else to bang on Eddie Hearn and Bob Aram if they was doing the shit that he's doing. Deuces.